If you were to do a poll today, I think it would be safe to say that summer ranks as the top season amongst those living in the United States. And really, what's not to love? In some less urban areas, one of the markers of the beginning of summer is the peaceful sounds of cicadas off in the distance as day turns to night. Unfortunately, since the beginning of 2020, the normal things in life that we've become accustomed to have all been far from normal. And what better way to cap off this last year and a half with that peaceful cicada sound we're used to becoming the sonic equivalent of all your neighbors running their lawnmowers at the same time, non-stop, for weeks on end. I'm Think So Joe, this is Things You Might Not Know, and here comes Brew 10. Naja cicada is a grouping of cicadas, consisting of several different species, that lives out approximately 98% of their life cycle underground. Also known as periodical cicadas, these large bugs pop their heads out every 13 to 17 years, occurring generally from early May to late June. In 2021, the cicadas that will be emerging are known as either Brood 10 or the Great Eastern Brood. During this time underground, these cicadas are no more than nymphs feeding off the nutrients in the soil and tree roots. When they finally emerge, the cicadas are now full-grown adults whose life expectancy at this point is only about four to six weeks. Their sole purpose during these weeks is to mate, and these 17-year-old virgins waste absolutely no time. The male periodical cicadas congregate to attract females to impregnate, turning every tree and bush across 15 states and the District of Columbia into a veritable bug orgy. These collections of male magi cicada are known as chorus centers because of their all too familiar cicada song we're so used to hearing. The cicada song of each male can reach up to 120 decibels under normal circumstances, and since the population of Brood 10 is expected to be somewhere in the trillions, I hope you have adequate ear protection. I personally recommend the big over ear ones that airline employees wear. After mating has been completed, the female magicicata lay their eggs in the stems of woody plants ready for another 13 to 17 year gestation period. After this, the adult periodical cicadas have the good sense to just roll over and die, thus ending their full natural life cycle. This entire process does have immediate but short-lived effects on the surrounding environment. In the year leading up to the emergence, there is usually a decline in the overall tree growth due to the almost fully gestated nymphs feeding on the roots. The emergence itself is actually a great thing for local wildlife and stray cats since they are high in protein. The large population of Brood 10 will also lead to effortless hunting. Cicadas are considered to be great for humans to eat as well due to those same protein levels. There are plenty of cicada recipes available online. There are, of course, some cons that come with the Brood 10 emergence. These cicadas are not actually dangerous to humans generally, meaning no biting or stinging, but the aforementioned noise pollution will be a huge hindrance for many. Then there is the fact that there are going to be cicada carcasses littered everywhere, and I do mean everywhere. Sidewalks, roads, yards, and gardens are not safe. And if you don't want parts of your home looking like a scene from the James Gunn movie Slither, then I would suggest covering up any drafty areas post-haste. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Things You Might Not Know! If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and you can see a playlist of things you might not know videos over here. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time!